Hi, welcome to High Valley. Today I'm interviewing David Pearson, a Canadian computer systems analyst that works at Square. Square is a company that develops payment tools for businesses. Hi David, how are you doing? Good, hi Arinio. Good, I'm great. Thank you for being here. Tell me David, um, tell me about your trajectory, your professional trajectory until you arrived to the Silicon Valley to Square as a computer system analyst. I've been working in the industry for quite a while. Um, I've been working in um, this domain for almost a decade now, a little bit more than a decade. I had my first job in 2008 uh, back in Montreal. So like you said, I'm a French Canadian. I'm a Canadian. I lived in Montreal for quite a long time. And I moved in the Bay Area in San Francisco two years and a half ago, uh, and I really love it. And then I worked at Weebly for uh, almost two years uh, before being acquired by Square, and now here I am working at Square. And uh, how did you get here? Did you study in the United States? Did you work in an American company in Canada? You just applied? No, I, I studied in, in, in Quebec, in Canada, so I didn't do any kind of study in, in the United States. And um, so I applied to a bunch of companies here in the Silicon Valley from, from, from my, uh, my small place, my small, small apartment in Montreal. And I applied to like more than 100 companies. Um, I spent so much time on phone interviews and phone calls with interviewers. And then one day I got a call from, from Weebly saying uh, that uh, they wanted to see me. They wanted to see me in action, to see me how I work. Um, and then they invited me to come here in San Francisco to work for a, a, like a, for a week, for a week long. And, and then, yeah, that's it. And then they offered me a job and I've been working here for uh, two years and a half. And did you apply directly when there was a job opening or you just contacted the company because you liked it? Uh, or did you know somebody? Did you, how did you network yourself to Weebly? I applied on uh, current and op uh, openings at, at Weebly and at a lot, a lot of other companies. And, um, and I really liked how Weebly um, were uh, handling the whole like hiring process and um, so that's that's I'm really I'm really proud and I'm really happy to be here. So you are a computer systems analyst, and when you want to have somebody in your team, whether you recruit them or not, what do you expect from a candidate that wants to to work in your team as a computer analyst? So first, I'm looking for a really good and genuine person, because technical skills are one thing, but what's the most important is the personality. And secondly, of course, I'm looking for a talented and motivated engineer. If you don't want to learn, if you're not motivated in learning new technologies or new systems, that is not going to work. And what is this policy that I've seen that Weebly has that is no assholes? What does that mean? It's, it's a nice policy. Um, it's it's a policy that uh, that our uh, our founders have introduced um, at the beginning of the company, which is great. So if that person is um, well, what's an asshole actually? Arrogant or maybe well, a know-it-all person, an arrogant or sometimes aggressive. It's exactly what I mean. Uh, okay. Um, but my point is like we're, we're spending, we're not spending just our time on evaluating the technical aspect of a person, mm -hmm. but also um, their, their personalities. So the best engineers that I've worked with through my career, uh, I've been really highly motivated, really motivated. Motivated is, is, it was one of the, the main part of being a successful engineer uh, through my, my career and making and also admitting uh, their mistakes because mm -hmm. we do mistakes, right? You do mistakes and I, and I do mistakes all the time. So if you can learn from it and you can admit it in front of a group, in front of your team, 
this is a really big plus in, 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 in your skills. And it's also at the same time to not blame others. And then lastly, I think being positive is one of the best skill I can ask someone to, uh, to have uh, working in a company. And not just being an engineer can be like any kind of like uh, position in the company. Uh, positive is uh, always good. When you see job openings uh, for programmers, developers in, in tech companies, you usually see that they look for full stack engineers. What does that mean in the Silicon Valley for you, for Weebly, because sometimes that changes. Yeah, of course. So the full stack engineer description has changed so much through the years. But for me, a full stack engineer uh, can cover all aspects, all stage of a development, of a software development. So we can think about the user experience, the, U, the UI, the design, uh, the programmation, the front end and the back end, and everything that is more like uh, for the web development. So for, for me, a full stack developer is, um, is, 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 is covering uh, every aspect of like from A to Z from a software de development. Someone that can see the whole picture in the development. Correct, exactly. And it's not, we're not asking to, we're not asking a full stack engineer to be expert in like all those areas, but to at least be uh, sufficient at all. Do you think it's possible to be a full stack engineer if you are 27 years old? Yeah, I've worked with really young full stack engineers and they were good. You don't have to be, like I said, you don't, I don't, you don't like to be expert in, in that type of thing. Uh, but a full stack engineer, it's, it's not just the thing, right? Um, the, the most experienced and the most talented person I've ever worked with were not full stack engineers. Mm -hmm. they, were, they were mastering some aspect on, on, on this spectrum of development and they were really good at one, one stage, uh, one part of the de development and uh, sometimes it's, it might be better like that. Mm -hmm. In that case, that you are uh, not very specialized in one discipline and you have a broader vision of the whole software development, what kind of company you think it would be better to apply? To answer your question, I think that working in a web agency or in a startup where, um, where in those kind of companies, you, you're, you're going to be asked to touch all of those kind of, you're going to be asked to touch on some UX and some development tasks on, and also use some DevOps and some servers and all, like, all those as aspects where it's probably not gonna be the case in a really big company where um, every uh, area of a development is dedicated to one team or one department. In your work here, do you do a lot of client facing or is not part of your duties? No, I don't do any client facing. I, um, we have our own department, our own customer support department where they are doing this kind of work. Mm -hmm. So probably if it would have been in a really small company, I would probably do some client facing. What do you think makes Silicon Valley a unique place for a techie like you? For a techie like me? Yeah. I like it. Um, uh, what makes unique is I can, t like, I can actually say that it's way easier to meet and to meet really great and really talented people here. Here, meetups are are uh, coming from like really big giant companies like Google and Microsoft or Apple. So, if you want to work in tech or be like a techie, like you said. <laughs> um, I think the Silicon Valley is the place to be right now. And if you had to hire software engineers for your team, where would you look for them? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, with my experience, the best hires that I made was coming from recommendations. Mm -hmm. So if I look for someone to hire, I would probably try to reach out to um, to some of my colleagues or um, people that I work closely with. Do you, would you go to the webs, to, to platforms like GitHub, for example? What I usually do is when I interview someone, I usually go see uh, her or he, uh, his uh, GitHub account, for sure, to see what it looks like and uh, to see some examples. But 
that I mean, a GitHub account is is one thing, but when you talk to someone and when you you actually interact with someone, it's it's probably it, it, it's better. If you had to choose one or two strengths that you have that you would say they were decisive for you to get here where you are today, what do you think they are? To be Canadian. Okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no seriously. Uh, so getting out of your comfort zone is is uh, help me to be where I am right now, and uh, yeah, it's because you learn from getting out of your comfort zone. What advice would you give to someone that wants to be in in your same place? It's gonna sound pretty much cliche, but I would say, don't give up, because it's it's hard. It's hard when I. When I tried to, like two years, like three years ago, when I applied to like more than 120 enterprise companies, um, I, I got a lot of like really bad phone interviews, really bad phone calls coming from interviewers saying that, hey, David, you're not, you might not be good enough for this position, which was right. And that's what, that's what I did. I, I never give up and that's why I'm here. And it's, it's hard as, for example, as a French Canadian, English is not my first language. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been, it's been hard. Uh, I'm still, I'm still working on it. Did you find talking about feedback and communication, do you have, do you find any difference in, in the way Canadians communicate at work and the way people here in the Silicon Valley area communicate and give feedback and. Oh yeah, of course. That's, that's the, that's day and night. It's it's way different. Um, the, the the French culture is is uh, is uh, is pretty similar from like in Canada and in France. So we're more direct, more straightforward mm -hmm. than in the, in America. David, what is your professional dream? That's a really good question. I recently realized that I was actually doing my professional dream right now. I was doing what I always dreamed of, working with really talented people in a really, really great company, mm -hmm. uh, surrounded in, uh, surrounded by, uh, by really great people, and also living in a really beautiful city, which is, is San Francisco, and I, I just, I just, I, I dream about it for years, and now here I am. So I, I think that it's coming. It, it's, it's going exactly in the same way as my other answers, which is to never give up. I think that if you have a dream and you know what you want to do, there is technically nothing that can stop you from doing it. So David, it was great speaking to you. You have so much things to say, but well, we don't have the time. Thank you very much for, for being here. Thank you. If you liked our channel, feel free to subscribe, to like it or to share it. Thank you.